All right, Peter, thank you for joining us here at RCR Live at the Barbican Sitter in London. Uh, I want to pick your brain a little bit about a topic that's been getting a lot of attention, at least from my perspective. Before we get into opinions, maybe let's just set a baseline. Lay out for us the difference between inline and look-aside acceleration in the context of Open RAN. All right, so we're talking about how we implement layer one, the PHI. So there are two camps here, really, there's Intel and basically everyone else, uh, which includes um, Picacom, uh, Qualcomm and Marvell and NVIDIA. Um, so Intel will want to do as, implement as much of the PHI as possible on their processors. In fact, they've designed processors with specific acceleration in the processor instruction set for um, Open RAN. Um, they've also got a new chip, uh, well, new uh, pr processor, uh, which uh, they, their processors have multiple chips on the same package, uh, which they've taken the um, uh, the acceleration function and, and put it in there. Now Intel's problem is that they, they can't do everything on a, on, in software on their processors. Um, so they want to have this look aside acceleration model so they can do, do as much. Now other people design the entire PHI um, on their own chips. Um, so hence it's a completely separate thing and none of it is implemented on the x86 uh, processor or that could be an ARM based uh, processor as well. Okay, so which side is correct and why is it the one you're on? Um, I think the inline is, is, is correct. Um, I, there is, Intel have a, a point of view. I mean, Intel started off saying that because it's standard hardware, it's going to be cheaper, but what they, they ignore the fact that um, fundamentally, it's ma the amount of silicon area you have controls the cost and the power generating. And silicon basically costs $200 billion per square mile. And um, so if you have a bigger chip, it's, it's more expensive. And Intel's chips are enormous. And you can implement the same function optimally on something that's far smaller, as other people do. Um, so hence, you're going to reduce the cost, and you're going to reduce the power dissipation. Um, what happened in the early days of Open RAN is those optimized chips didn't exist. Uh, now they do, so the, the equation has changed. OK, so what are you hearing in terms of feedback from OEMs you're working with and their operator customers in terms of traction. How's this going to develop and play out in the real world? I mean, it seems to us that actually everyone is probably going to move towards inline acceleration. Um, Intel do have one point in their favor. They say that um, if everything is implemented in software on a standard processor, then that opens up the market for innovation. Anyone can, pro anyone can write software. The trouble is in Iran, you need you know, a few million dollars of test equipment before you start. So not everyone is going to be writing uh, software. And you, know, you need to be able to trial this in the field. So it, that argument is a bit weak in that respect. Um, but what you go for is something which is, is lower cost and lower participation. All right, and one last one, Peter. The theme of the event here today is telco reinvention. What needs to happen to return operators to growth, to profitability? Any summary thoughts on that? Um, I think it's going to take a long time. Um, I think Open RAN is an ingredient there. Um, I think that's going to open up the market to more players. Um, from, from, just from our perspective as a vendor, you know, um, they're going to be, in, in, be able to innovate more, use more appropriate uh, equipment for their type of deployment they're in. Um, indoors, rather than using expensive DAS systems, they're going to have optimised systems. Outdoors, they're going to have, to have a mixture of different types of equipment more of a, a mix and match, and you know, that's going to help them um, you know, increase performance in their network and reduce their costs. I think that's the message I've heard throughout the day, and I appreciate you taking the time to give us your perspective, Peter. Thank you very much, Sean.